Hi folks, it's time to plant the shallots out now. Now I suppose you're thinking, well I thought your shallots were absolutely rubbish. And you'd be right. But amazingly in the post the other day, unbeknownst to me, I got this package. They undid it and there was a load of fantastic plants in and I thought, what are they? They look like giant onions or something like that. So I know there was no letter in it, no mention. So I went through my old emails and I found this fantastic message by Philip Stubbs who said he'd planted his uh, banana shallots out, got some spare, realised mine were rubbish, so de he decided that he'd just send me the rest and they're absolutely wonderful and I just can't thank him enough. I mean that is the kindness of strangers, you know, in this gardening community. I didn't ask for any, but he had some spare, like we all do, we all help each other out in these gardening lots, so I just can't thank you enough, Phil. They're absolutely wonderful, so at least if my other ones don't perk up, I will have at least 30 fantastic looking banana shallots to go in. So I'm going to plant a few of these now. He's grown them in modules. They're all wrapped in cellophane to keep, keep the moisture in. And they're absolutely fantastic plants. Absolutely, compared to mine, they're absolutely pitiful, but these are absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to plant these out. So. Same, same spacing as my onions, just six inches apart. They'll be a bit floppy for a bit until they start to root. But it's just a matter of chucking them in like that. Because they're absolutely cracking. They've got amazing roots on. They've been fantastically grown. So we'll just get these in. And we should have a crop this year, regardless of what happens. The ones I've, that I have been growing, I managed to sort of salvage a few. So I should have another 30 or 40 to go at. So probably a good 60 or 70 plants in the end which is good but these are absolutely fantastic and it's, it's just great you know it's heartwarming to to see people's generosity when they see you've, you've had a bit of a problem so that's it yeah so I'll, I'll get these in show you what they're like when they're all done and we'll have a little wander about show you what's what's been going on which isn't a great deal but I'll show you anyway so I'll just get these finished and then uh, we'll have a look at what else is happening. Well there we go folks, that's 30, uh, 30 banana shots chugged in, that's a row and a half which is great. Show you what else is going on, which isn't a lot, it's all really onions in here, but they're growing okay. Red ones, normal ones, garlic, had a few misfires in certain bits, but again they're doing okay. Like I said there's not a lot going on in here apart from onions. And obviously the peas at the other end, could they be weeding this bit? But the peas have taken well since I planted them from the gutters. It's about time to remove that protection now. They've had a good watering in with the rain, so getting pretty established now. Absolutely no sign of life on any of the potatoes yet, obviously, because it's been that cold. So I can't see those emerging as sprouts yet for another few weeks at least. So we hope they do. I hope they haven't rotted off because it's been that cold. And in the polytunnel bed, we know polytunnel over it. Planted a few spring onions, getting the rest of the beds ready for planting now. I'll plant all my, a lot of lettuce and things in here when they're actually big enough in the greenhouse. But at the moment, they're still a bit pathetically small. So again, it's just a waiting game until things get a little bit bigger. For some reason, my rhubarb's doing really well this year. I know it's probably nowhere near as far on as a lot of people further down south, but for me, even at this time of year, it's quite advanced. So I don't know whether it likes cold weather or what, but it's doing okay. In this recent rain, that should uh, perk it up a bit. A few little flowers on the gooseberries, so hopefully we'll get a few gooseberries this year. I planted my sweet peas out, probably a little bit too early, because they've had a bit of a batter in, but we'll see. They should pick up. Weather's supposed to warm up, so it shouldn't be too bad. And I'll look at the pond. I've got a few uh, bottle load of plants now. I've planted them in, you can probably see a little pond skater there, it's found its way in, there's beetles in there already, tadpoles, so I bought a lot of plants, I've got some more to go in, I've got a, if you can just see it under the surface at the bottom, a water lily there and another similar one there, and a few of these little sort of bog plants I've planted, so we'll see how we get on, it's looking okay, looking nice and clean, and I've got a little solar powered pump there, so when it does get too hot I can turn that on and uh, Things should do okay. But anyway, apart from that folks, just a little quick video just to 
show you that I am planting something and just a big thank you again to Phil Stubbs for sending me those fantastic shallot plants. So that's about it folks, I'll see you later.